everybody, this is John Bain. Well, I welcome you to Scrap Mechanic Survival. Hope you guys are doing pretty good today. I'm doing pretty good myself. Don't want to forget to mind you all to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be here when stuff happens, because here we are back with some more, well, Scrap Mechanic Survival. And I have been hard at work. Uh, I play a lot of survival games, and um, this one is definitely uh, doesn't lack in the hard at work scale on the, <laughs> the survival game stuff. I've farmed some more foods. As you can see here, I've actually ate a lot of that just trying to farm stuff and keep on going. Um, did have in a debacle that happened uh, while I was defending my farm. I've done several rotations of it defending my farm. Uh, after I was done fighting it off, I heard sounds in here and came in here. And then my circuit boards that were being that were stacked here were getting destroyed by a greenie. And that was pretty meany. And as you can see, there's nothing left in here. Uh, it's horrible. It's a, it's a debacle. It's, I don't even know. Oh, I gotta go home and cry. Oh, this is, is this, wait. What? <laughs> I moved inside. You can see we got some greenie heads, move some stuff in here. We got this lovely, lovely uh, locker up here. I end up having to craft a chest because look how many components we have in circuitry. We have a decent amount. I re re recoup my circuitry and other things. Um, put some of the bearings over here and stuff. We have the soil stacked nice in the table. Put all my seeds over here that I've been getting from farming and, you know, just going out. Got some more fertilizer. There's that. You can see this. I'll show you what that is here in a second. And then I uh, got a nice little plant here. And then inside of here, I made a nice little shelf. We got a shelf with all our stuff on it. It's nice. It's 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 cuddly. It's 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 easy to get to. Which, you know, if I can't reach it, you know, you just that's what these are for. We got our steaks. Then up here we have our uh, what is it? The the coloring cartridges. Uh, then we have water right here. The next one is oil. The next one's chemical. And the bottom is gasoline. And then over here in our kitchen, we've got Mr. Mr. Craftbot's hanging out with us. Hello, Mr. Craftbot. How you doing today? And we've got my little kitchen set up with some of the single fruits we've been getting uh, that we don't have seeds for just up in here to kind of decorate it a little bit. Got to make it feel like home. Also, put the calendar right over here just because when I wake up, you know, I can know what day it is. And then I made a little aquarium. I made a little aquarium for this guy. Oh, we got to come up with a name for this guy, too. I mean, we'll probably get more in the end, but we got to come up with a name. So you guys, you know, I'll, I'll do. We got a poll. We already have a poll. The poll's going. You guys, uh, actually, we don't have a poll yet, but we'll get a poll up here soon and uh, get some suggestions of the name in the next episode. We'll throw the poll up and then that way uh, you, we can choose again. And speaking of polls, we have a name that needs to be done. This needs to be given, needs to be shown. Yes, and we had a poll and we had a choice to be made and the choice was made uh, by you guys. We had several options for, for our lovely friend here that we made that stuck in a cage. Nice guy. We had Nick Cage, we had Bobby, we had Dizzy, we had Matt and Yo-Yo Ma. And the winner was Nick Cage. Congratulations, sir. That is your name. Also, shout outs to Nolan Wanzer, the one that, that, that suggested it. Thank you very much for the suggestion. And thank you, everybody, for taking participation in the poll. And we'll, we'll have another poll soon for our name soon. So how you doing, Mr. Cage? Are you shy? It's fine, man. No one's going to make fun of you. If you had the key, though, I'd help you out, brother. But I don't have that key. That key is something else. Anyway, so what are we going to do today? We have things to get done. We have lots of things to get done. As you saw, we have a lot of components now. We have a lot of circuit boards. Also, you're looking at my hot bar. I've got a decent amount of scrap metal on me, and we still have plenty of wood over here. Oh, I was going to show you something. I upgraded the, the gardening area. I decided to put some niceness up in here, kind of put some trim on it, make it look a little bit better, put a little bit of uh, decor on it. Also double plied the front here and a little more on the sides. And then back here, this is the real deal, y'all. I, um, oops, you can, you just saw it, didn't you? You just saw it, didn't you? I'm sure you did. Let's go up a little bit again. Okay, here you go. You can barely see it. It's nightish, uh, but we have a row of the corrugated we got a row of scrap. We got a row of corrugated <laughs> scrap, scrap, corrugated, and a full row of wood protecting behind here. I felt that was better than just lay, keeping it laying around. We have some extra defenses behind us, so there's only really one way to get in here. Or uh, if they get working on the back, we have plenty of time to go around the back and defend it. So that's what we've got up in the back. So what are we gonna do today? Well, it's dark outside, but um, I, we have a plenty of mats, and we have Mr. 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 Craftbot back here. I kind of want to go ahead and get some uh, get, get enough pieces together to make a good vehicle. Now, there is something that's going to be in the way of stuff here. Where is it at? Right, right here. We need to get some cotton. That's one thing. Uh, do we need to get anything else? I think we are 
We had the basics for that. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting some shocks either. It looks like that's not too bad. Uh, that is the second tier. All right, so we'd have to do water. Okay. I wonder what it is to do this the water container. Oh, we need honey. All right, so I think what we'll do first today is we're going to go get some co uh, some cotton, and we're going to go try to find some honey. Uh, we've got plenty of oil. You know, we've got plenty of oil here. We've got some glue. I did get some more clams uh, and made more glue, so we have 19 glue. Also, I got a purple. It says it's a rare. Like, let's, let's compare the two of these. It's, it doesn't have a real name yet, but outfit packet uh, object outfit package rare. And then we have the common one. So they're following the normal nomenclature of like most of these uh, games do where, uh, well, usually rare is a blue, but there's still like green is the common and stuff like that. Actually, green is usually uncommon. Never mind. They don't follow it all. They got their own thing. That's fine. Anyway, uh, let's see. Yeah, let's wait until it is daytime, which is an in-game two hours, and then we'll head out and meet up, and we'll get out, and um, we'll try to get some honey, and we'll get some cotton. You guys, hold on. All right, we're out of the wild. Hey, look, I've already found cotton. Uh, it Usually, where all the orange trees, I've noticed, is where cotton is at, and um, like kind of like an autumn-style, like, you know, where these little tufts of bushes are at, or li leaf piles are at. There's usually typically like cotton just hanging out. Of course, now that I say there's usually, oh, there's some more right there. So th there's usually a good amount um, of, of cotton just chilling. It's just doing its thing. Wait, what's. I think we found honey! <laughs> All right, there's some honey. Do we right click you? What do we do? Oh! Beeswax. It's called beeswax. Okay. Oh, we got two beeswax out of that. Does it regenerate? I wonder. Is there any more around this thing? Oh, there is! Nice! Oh, interesting. I like that. That's cool. That's cool. So, um, and there's, oh, there's that. We've already been there. So, there we go. We've gotten beeswax and we've gotten cotton right off the bat. It was like it was meant to be. I'm not even kidding. This is funny. Um... So we need to look for those kinds of rocks, like over here. Those aren't that really big of rocks, but like the bigger rocks, I guess, spawn the honey. I wonder if they also are attached to this biome. Um, that'd be really cool if that's the case. So then you have two types of mats and like biomes, it seems like, because the water biome has like, well, there's there's also the glowies too, which by the way, again, put a comment down below. Give a suggestion for the name. We'll put, if it, whatever is the most chosen ones or I see look like the best, we'll have it a poll in the next episode. Because, you know, it's fun to name stuff, man. You got to name stuff. It's, it's, it's more fun. Yeah, I, don't, I shouldn't have to explain that. You, you guys understand, right? Anyway, we got a lot of cotton coming in. So that's a good thing. Um, I, I guess we need to kind of focus fire on looking for big rocks then. Uh, just to get more honey. I mean, we've already gotten, what, four honeycomb. That's very nice. And we've got our 19 cotton. That's really good. Uh, I feel like in the time that we've spent, I mean, literally, we, we, I walked out the door, went down the road. I was like, oh, there's some orange trees. Let's start recording. And then bam. <laughs> What's this over here? Oh, God, we found another camp. Is there another one here? Is there anything inside of these? No. Okay, it looks like it's clear. There is a lot of cotton up in here. Are there, oh, hello. Oh, there is one. Oh my god. What? Oh, ooh, there's a bat here. There's a bat here. Oh, he hit the he hit the guy. The ferocity of these machines are just amazes me. All right, there we go. And I have an idea about these. Once we can carry a load of these, I have an idea about these guys. Uh, these pieces here. Um, depending on how many we end up needing in, in a, um, for progression, I have a, an idea. I'm not going to say it just yet, but I, 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 we're going to be trying out something with those later on. Um, okay, well, this is where we go. Let me see if I can grab some more cotton then. And just, I wonder if there's anything hidden in any of this. And sorry, dude, we've already got, we've already got Nick Cage. I hate to leave you upside down like that, but, uh, I would go ahead and stand on the top of it just so the blood doesn't rush all to your head because that's not good. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and gather some more cotton, get some more honeycombs, beeswax, whatever, and we shall return. All right, welcome back. We're home. We made it. We're alive. Good to go. We came back with 
uh, 59 cotton, and we have 49 beeswax. That's really nice. I'm, I'm happy. That also good with extra components and some other mats. I found a couple chests out in the middle of nowhere uh, and more circuits. So that's really nice. So let's look at this stuff. I have three bearings already. Right. Yes. We need at least three more. I'm going to upgrade you once. There you go. Bam. Craft. So let's queue up three of them. That's really nice. So that's that's a bare minimum. Also, we're going to need an engine. So we're going to need some metal blocks uh, and some more components. So let's grab. Let's go ahead and grab some more mats out of here. Let's grab you and you and then the components like that. Let's also grab an oil off the shelf because I like grabbing up the shelf. And then we just need to craft up some metal blocks. So we'll do one. And collect you, and then do another one, and collect you. There we go. Very nice. I don't want to waste my components yet on fully upgrading you yet, uh, just because I, we, we need to be able to gather stuff more efficiently. Um, and we're going to try to do the bare minimum, like, again, s slide on by what we can. This is a survival game, and trying to make the most of what we have is super-duper important. Um, instead of just blowing everything away, like, 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 we can't pretend we're playing creative right now, guys. We got, we got it, we got it. This is serious business, you know what I'm saying? It's a serious business. And, uh, you know, and once we start making a lot more stuff, like, I don't plan to live in this base forever. We're going to be moving. We're eventually going to be moving. But we got to kind of have to, uh, you got to kind of crawl before you walk kind of a thing. And we're still crawling right now. But it's not a bad crawl. But we're still crawling anyway. All right, so we have... The engine getting made now. So we now have three bearings, three other ones. Let me go and grab them just so we have them together. Three. Okay, bam, bam. We have six bearings now. We have an engine getting crafted now. Uh, what do we need for thruster? Oh, that's not that bad. Is that tier three, though? That is tier three. So we'd have to use water, too. That's not too bad, though. We can, we can handle that when it comes time. Uh, but we don't need a thruster just yet. Again, we need to, you know, like I said, I do want to use shocks, though, because I want us to be able to, like, chillax on a ride without being, like, too, too, you know, worried about it. That's tier two metal, right? And it uses water as well. Dang it. We could, we could make buckets and then do that, but I don't know. I might hold off a little bit on that. It would be nice to have that, though, to make the ride a little bit easier. So with that and that, and do we need, I guess we're going to need a gas tank too. So I have the glue. We do have more of this. I'm going to grab the one in the back here. And then we do have the glue. We'll grab this stack. There we go. So we have all those mats. That's getting done. Let's go ahead and queue up some more metal blocks. I feel like we're going to need to fuse, so we'll just grab, make up a couple extra. Let me grab one of these stacks of scrap metal. And we'll collect our engine. And while we wait for that to craft up, let's look at this bad boy. All right, so we have a limit, and we can upgrade it more if we want to. Um, let's see. And if we upgrade it, we can add in more bearings, better efficiency, and has more gears, as in we can probably go faster. Okay, that that has uh, I'm not and what does it cost to upgrade you? It only costs four. Okay, I wish the durability. What is the durability on you? Okay, you have four durability, pretty big weight, low uh, low buoyancy, decent friction. Okay, okay, so I wonder how many connection points we're gonna get. We'll find out. Oh wait, wait, and that had that has its own gas tank, so we don't necessarily need to waste the mats on that. Okay. Okay, okay. Now, what is the concrete? Okay, that takes stone. We have to be able to get stone. If we get stone, we need a drill. And to make the drill, we need metal and metal. All right, we're going to do that. We're going to step up the game. We're going to, because I really would like to be able to break down that metal, the stone, because you get, like, what, read, read, watch what it says right here. Use the drill to mine square rocks for stone and metal. So that would help out with metal production, like, ex exponentially. Put it on a bearing that's connected to an engine and drive it uh, in, into, a, uh, into a square rock. So there we go. Okay. Okay. So let's see here. Um, We need you, which means we do need to do that. And how many? How many? Uh, I'm willing to do what it takes to get that. We'll need 20 of them. So we need to make two rounds of those, which means we need to make... Okay. I just need to grab what I've got and I can do it. 
Is that right? Is that what we needed? There we go. There's the next tier. That'll give us our drill. Drills are nice. Very nice. All right. So with that, we have this coming in. And then we need to make 30 more of the regular ones. So let's go ahead and do one, two, and three. I wonder how well like a, a, a second tier gas engine will push metal. I don't know. I guess we can find out if we need to. We'll just see how it works out at first. I really don't want to use crap blocks to build my stuff. Like that durability is way better than our scrap. Um, that's for sure. And that durability is even better, but we need to be able to do the water thing. Um, and everything else is kind of okay. This that one seems okay. It uses circuits and metal to make that. Uh, and the net ones, punch steel, that stuff is still super weak. The spaceship block will take is that tier two? Yeah, it's tier two plus some that's really not too bad for okay. It's the same thing, it just happens to have a different look to it, I guess. I think that one looks cooler personally. And that one takes tier two metal too. So this this looks like that's the winner in the end, the straight up metal. Um, and the weight is five bars versus, um, let's just look at that two bars. Okay. Um, I'm going to craft up one, two, three, four pieces of metal, and we can at least make our chassis out of metal. So we have at least like a, like all the main components. If I get hit, maybe it will last if that makes sense. And how many, we still haven't really touched our components at all either. This is really good. Okay, so let's grab that one. And I guess I should make some regular wood so it, it holds up better. That one has three durability. This one has two. Anything with better durability that's pretty cheap to make, we're making. I'm going to go grab some more regular wood, too. We have a good amount outside. And I feel really good about moving inside of there for now. It feels a lot safer than it did. I'm not seeing my little block. Okay, whatever. There it is. Okay, so it was just being kind of buggy. There's that. All right, that should be enough. And then this way, I want to make like a flat bed. And there's something else we need to make at the same time, too. Okay, you're done. Yep, we'll collect all your pieces. What do we need for the... Okay, glue and metal. Uh, it takes 40 for that, though. Okay, uh, I want two of these, actually, to be honest. So we need to queue up some more blocks. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go and craft up some more metal and some more wood, and we'll be back and we'll start building. You guys, hold on. All right, I figured I'd come back. I'm still crafting, but I do have a s driver's seat done, which uh, you can upgrade. Which, what's that do? Maybe how many connection points can go to it? I wonder what it costs to upgrade. Oh, there we go. Okay, so... You can add connections to it. Wait, can I only have... Oh, I have five, so it can add up to four more. So you have up to nine connections to this thing. Okay, okay. And then we have the drill here. That's already made. Uh, I have seven bearings, you know, four for wheels, two for steering, and one for the drill. Um, and then also found out something. I made, like, some more water buckets because I thought this thing, whenever you made water, it turned it the buckets into the water. It actually gives it back to you after it's finished crafting. I actually thought these used it to make the bottle to hold the water in. That's my bad for assuming it. So now we have nine buckets which means it's a heck of a lot easier to get the, the second tier metal, which I think we're going to end up making our chassis out of that. But before we get into that craziness, we do have the ability to make the better wheels because it's only going to use like 32 of these and we can make the big wheels. And I'm, I think that's what we're going to do. Um, and then also, I, I think we're going to go ahead and make some of the support suspension too because we have the stuff for that. It just, it kind of blows my mind that I, I was going to be all like, cheap on it but i think we'll be able to actually make a full nice setup like how much long is 30 look at this look four big big wheels right there that's amazing um and then here here we go and then we'll make two more of those we'll have a full suspension that and i still have like a full stack of scrap metal well i did not anymore i still have enough metal we'll just say that to make some of the higher tier metal because if you look at the block strength Durability is five. With this one, the durability is all the way up to seven. Now, the weight is the same. 
So if I build my chassis out of that and have these higher grade wheels on it, because the wheels themselves have a five versus, oh, those are the same. And their weight is less too. I don't understand that. And it's not flammable. Oh, oh, that's nice. That's top grade right there, buddy. And the, my bar is starting to look like actually like in creative now, actually. Um, and, you know, for me, like, I, again, I come from a survival background. I'm used to building like humongous bases that look pretty good. And I think look pretty good. And, and then you know, working on the progression, how the games go. And this one is, I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting into like the, 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 well, the, the creative side of things. I mean, I, I've, I've done a lot of stuff in creative back in the day. And I've been doing stuff with multiplayer Mondays with, you know, Khan, Scrapman, and, and Squiddy. And, uh, but it, it's going to be cool to be confined by what we've got to make the best we can. I still was trying to do the cheapest, quickest thing, but man, I mean, oh, there's one thing I want to check. A piston. We can craft that too. Holy crap. Are you serious? All right, let's get the two, these two guys queued up. That way we'll have our four pistons. We need to try out the suspension glitch. We'll have the pistons to do it. Might as well. I'm not pistons, but the, the suspension to do it. Might as well. Uh, what do I need for blocks? Okay. So I can go ahead and queue up two of these or one of those right now. Well, actually, right now, two of them. Very nice. So that that there is 20. And that means I, I want to have a, a... I want a piston for the drill. That way, you know, I can push it out and, you know, if I need to, to, to kind of drill out areas for us. Um, all right, so, and I'm good on water. Might as well queue up some more of those, too. Actually, we have a seat, and we now have this right now. Okay, cool. Let's go, let's go check this out. Let's just see if this is a thing. Because if it is, that's going to be really cool. Oops, I killed something out here, and I didn't have room because I was grabbing water. Can't ever, you never leave anything behind. Collectionist never leaves anything behind if they can help it. All right, let's take this. I'm um, going to do, you guys probably know a better one or whatnot. I'm just going to do what I know. All right, that goes there. This goes here. We'll grab the, the, the nice little, there we go, suspension. There we go. I'm going to put one on the end just to have that. There we go. And then we take these and this. All right, now we put you on top. Okay, there's that. Now we'll remove this. Get the connection tool out. Oh, it does. It works. Oh my god. It works! Oh, snap. I, for some reason, didn't think it was going to work. To be a 100%er. I did not think it was going to work. Holy crap, man. Okay, so suspension glitch is a thing in survival. At least at this moment in time. Oh, snap. Hell yeah, buddy. Oh, collect, collect, collect. Oh my God. So we need to make one more. What do we need for the, what do we need for the piston? Uh, I do want to get that still. Okay, so we'll have enough for it. Okay, I've got some more work to do. Then we'll get to building. You guys hold on. All right, I am extremely excited right now. Uh, we're going to try and keep the build semi-basic and keep the flatbed idea with a drill on the front. But um, we have some good metal pieces like this. And then also we have these holder support bins, which have five, um, five, five, uh, durability, but we also need to grab, uh, where'd I put those bad boys? Are they not in here? Where did I put them at? Did I put them in here? Yeah, I did. Okay. We have these guys that have four, I believe. Um, we'll grab that because we're going to, if I uh, will, we might not need it with the, with the, with the suspension glitch. I didn't even think about that. Oh my God. This is. I, this, that was just insane that that was is a thing. I, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, it's it kind of crazy. Let's just throw you on here. Actually, we need to do the suspension glitch first, don't we? Well, we can put it in the back and it's going to, we'll do that like into the truck bed or something. I, I, I'm, I don't know what to do. I'm just like, I'm, I'm dumbfounded right now, to be honest. Like, it's, it's insane that we can, we were allowed to do that. We're, that, that. That's part of the game. Like, hey, here you go. You know, um, I'm going to use this for filler. 
I don't need anything too crazy. I just want to have it in there. We're making a chassis um, for our vehicle. Look at that. Look at the beautifulness of that power. Um, let's bring it out like this. And we're going to need to leave room to place our drill. Oh, it's, it's gonna, uh, the drill is going to be... How wide is the drill? The drill is an odd size. Okay, so this will be interesting. Maybe there's a... I got to be careful with I don't I do not want to lose these mats. These are expensive mats. So let's take that and then let's remove you again and let's remove this row. And I'm going to do an offset for the driver's seat but keep the build as an odd size build. It might look kind of weird driving it to a degree, but right now we're just trying to get things to look right, line up decently well. Uh, where's our piston at right here? We need to grab the switch from inside too and this should be able to fit right in the front. Oh, I need to put I need to put a drill. I need to put a bearing. I can't put it directly on. I need to put another piece here, and then we can put the bearing on, and then we can put you right there. So we have that. All right. So uh, for our suspension, our regular suspension, we're just gonna do like the same old, same old kind of thing. And we have actually I have one on my bar already, like that. And I kind of want to use. I don't know if let's build it without steering right now and just see what happens. And I think the front end needs to have like the more durability. Oh, it's so good to have you big wheel. Right, right. That's good stuff. Okay. So our center is there. That means that has the space. So we do go up here. It is so cool to have these blocks available to us to build our chassis too. I, 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 don't, I don't think it's, I'm not going to, pretend that it's impervious or anything but um just 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 excitedness about having these at our disposal there's that and then we'll put you here and then we will put that there okay that's nice okay so there we have it now we'll bring these out a little bit maybe here and since we have an odd build, we can actually put our suspension glitch into the, the chassis itself. It kind of does. All right, now can we... We can actually increase the limit on it, okay? Okay, and let's see here. What does it take to upgrade? Just one? Okay, we'll upgrade it once. Okay, well, well whatever it takes, we'll do, we'll do it. Okay, let's go to you. Let's upgrade it. Like that. We have turning, guys. We have turning. We still need to we still need to find a place for our engine, but the the actual suspension glitch is going to work. Great. up higher oh i kind of like that that's kind of mean all right so now our turning is not as good as it was before because of the resistance on the friction on the back end we may end up having to add turning into this all right we got something together it's not the best thing in the world but it's the best with the mats that i could do without wasting every single drop of it but it looks like it will work i end up removing the glitch uh, just because I felt like, uh, when backing up, there's going to be an issue with it. Since I can't rely on it fully right now, um, this is what we've got. So I've got two switches. The first switch itself, I'm sure you guys probably already can figure it out. The first switch, I don't have gas in there. And the second switch pushes it out. And I got to put gas in there. I end up making a second engine so it'd be autonomous from the drive. So the, this engine here has, um, one upgrade on it. So, because I wanted some efficiency on it. This one is actually upgraded to engine level three because I wanted more efficiency 
in general just like just to make sure everything was good you know like we were we were butter everything was butter i'm just gonna put this three stack in can i split these at all i don't think i can right now so i, I may end up pushing up the efficiency on that too but let's go hit up some rocks right quick and the shocks are beautiful oh yeah that's that's actually really nice all right there should be some simple rocks without any bots around and she's driving like a freaking beautiful. It might not even need like the suspension glitch, the way this stuff's kind of going. I guess you'd probably, if you want like a tank kind of thing going on, I guess that would make sense. Let's see how we do on a hill here. Oh yeah, and that weight too. Holy crap. Okay, so let's get up some. Let's turn on the engine. Let's go forward. Okay, okay, okay. So let's do this right quick. I'm going to turn up the power on you more all the way screw it we'll see oh that's it oh nice and that broke it down some more stop 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 bring it back in are these pieces i can do work with it is wow and there's metal Oh, what do we get from this type of metal? Hold on. Oh, come here, baby. All right, uh, let's rotate you. I'm going to set you up. Look at that. Oh, nice. Okay, let's refine you. Oh, if it's the basic metal blocks, that is going to be so nice. It is. Holy crap. And this is stone. The first time ever getting stone for me. Um... Yes, 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 yes. So I bet you if we ran the drill correctly on these, we could break it down even more, like without having to manually doing this. Oh my god. So do we get metal and that? Now this is what the bed's for. So if I don't want to deal with this stuff here, we got the refiner back at the base for now. I can just line these guys up in the truck bed and, and we're good to go. Let's pull forward a little bit. All right, there we go. And let's grab you. And this is just for the sake of whatever. I, I need mats, and this is great. Like, it's this is going to be amazing, actually. This is amazing. What am I saying? It's going to be. Oh, and I can break these down, too. So once we get the initial breakdown of it. Oh, my God. And that's all metal. Wow. And there's these are each 10 blocks apiece. Instead of wasting time just sitting out here waiting to do this, I can bring it back to base and do my refine my, my cleaning up of stuff there. I mean that there's 30 metal blocks already. And I have the headlight on me so we can see. Look at that. Look at that technology, y'all. Alright, and get this one here. Oh wow. Okay. Uh in standard JB fashion. I'm going to go ahead and break down this entire thing and see if our new truck can handle it. I'm just, I'm just, I'm going to do, I'm going to break it all down. There's another piece there. I'm going to break it all down see if I'm, the truck can handle it and we can get back to base without a problem. So this will take me a second. Um, I'm also going to toy around also too with, with the drill a little bit more. I just don't want to use up too much time. I think we're already over on the episode, but this is, this is a special edition episode. We found out the suspension glitch is real. We got us a real truck together with a drill on it. This is serious business, y'all. This is serious scrapping. You guys hold on. All right, boys. I don't know about y'all, but um, I think we're rich. Oh, did I miss one? Oh, does that one? I can't tell. Did I miss it? Oh, God. We got it. Oh, uh, God. We're not. We didn't hit it all. We got everything. I don't know if I can get that or not. Because look at the back of our truck. It is slab full. We're rich. We're rich. Oh, my God. I can't even get up here anymore. This is, that's an amazing problem to have. I'm going to, I'll take that problem and raise you another problem. Problem. Oh, food, water. We need to eat, eat, eat. Damn you. We're rich. I don't, I don't even know. Like get this one there. And I guess we could try to get that one. We got to try. We got to at least try. I removed all the, um, the suspension on the front end. Like I, I put, put it all the way down. Cause the back end is so like filled. Look, look at that. Look at that. We're rich. Look at all that metal. Look at all that stone. This is a, a very, very good success so far. So 
long as we don't get stupid. I am so glad we decided to go this route. I can't wait to have three drills in the front of this. Um, have some angular work on the front of it, too, to where we can kind of, like, just kind of work it with controls instead. Oh, we might be able to get this. We might be able to get this. You ain't getting away from us. Oops, oops. Stop, stop. Back it up. Don't waste the gas. Just trying to be real careful with this. This is very much worth the cost of mats that we used up and the gas and everything. I think it's hitting it. Is it? It was doing the sparks. When it does the sparks, it looks like it's good to go. It seems like when it hits it, it swings it out. Like, I got way too much weight in the back, which is fine. Look at what we got. We're rich. Oh, God. Let me get this thing. I'll be back. All right. It, it wouldn't let it. I couldn't get it. it I don't think it's going to actually hit it unless we're going, like, directly down on it. And I don't want to modify our drill or anything right now because we're in the wilds. And this is our first run, and we need to get home. I'm actually doing a full-on turn. This thing actually handles really good, even though we don't have any suspension, like, really working right now. Look at that, man. Our first haul. Like that. Let's bring it into the shop. Let's, let's, show, let's, show, let's show our buddy over there. Let's, let's show Nick, Nick Cage, man. Nick Cage, look! Look, we're rich! Nick Cage! Oh my God! I, I, this the, the amount of maps we have just gained just by being it's this one run, this one run. Let's see them. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. So two hundred and thirty metal. That is straight metal. That is not scrap metal. So that's like worth like almost almost five hundred scrap metal. And then the stone easily. I mean, if you take that, it looks like about like it's, you know, 60% more. So we're, we're looking at like 500 stone or so. I mean, that is not, not, that is no small feat, y'all. This is, you guys let me know what you think, because I'm excited. I don't know if you guys are excited. Um, the, by the way, these pipes are more durability than the other pipes I was going to do. So that's why they're on here. But I, I am beside myself with like joy right now. Look at that. That still can get some use out of it. I cannot wait to get some more mats get some more upgrades so we can really make this look more like a truck and also put more drills in the front of it maybe do some defense stuff maybe put saws on the side you know if we have enough gas it's the only thing is getting the oil and the gas how much gas do we have left in the okay so we were just about out on the drill and then over here we still had a oh god so we did use up a good amount of gas but again one oil is one gas you do five at a time it's really not that bad if you have a decent amount so a boat might be the next thing actually the next thing we need to worry about is a refinery this is a really long episode i'm sorry this is great though i'm excited refinery bot we could do that now oh my god well, we know what we're doing next episode, because that's the time we got for tonight. Remember, guys, the Mr. Glowy back there, the little, little, little glow where we got. We got to get a name. You guys throw some names down in the comments. We'll we'll do a poll on that in the next episode. But, oh, my God, I would say this is a huge success. Let me know what you guys are thinking. I can actually sit here and say goodbye to you now. Thank you guys so very much, and you all have a good night.